In this video, we'll be looking at two search techniques, truncation and phrase searching. Often, the keywords we use in searches have multiple closely related words that are derivatives of the same root word. For instance, we might search the word ethics and the database will return results including that word. However, it may not return results including other words that share the same root, such as ethic, ethical, ethically, and ethicality. It would be helpful to be able to search for all of these terms simultaneously to ensure that we're not missing a relevant result simply because it used a different derivative. Truncation allows us to do just that by placing an asterisk in our search term at the point after which the derivatives differ in lettering. In the case of ethics, we would place the asterisk immediately following the C. In the case of Canada, we would place it immediately following the D so that we also capture Canadian and Canadians. If we place the asterisk too late in the word, we will miss relevant words that share the same root. If we place it too early, we might catch too many irrelevant words and we'll have to sift through many unhelpful results. So be careful when choosing where to put the asterisk. Unfortunately, there are some keywords that don't lend themselves well to truncation. For example, to catch policy, policies, and perhaps policymakers, you might run a search for P-O-L-I-C asterisk. This will indeed catch all of those terms, but it will also catch police and policing. Even worse is swimming. As to capture swim, swam, and swum, we'd need to sit the asterisk after the W, and then the database would return results including any word that begins with SW. In these situations, it can be better to list the related words you'd like to search and link them with the Boolean operator OR covered in another video. While truncation will expand your results set, phrase searching will reduce it. Sometimes the search terms we use comprise multiple words. For example, we might run a search for First Nations. But most databases will read this as First and Nations. They will return results that include both words, but they might not occur together. Clearly, this could net us a lot of irrelevant results. Fortunately, we can use a phrase search to remedy this problem. Enclose the words in quotation marks and the database will only return results including those words together in that order. Phrase searching is particularly useful when the words refer to a single concept, as in First Nations, social media, British Columbia, carbon dioxide, or Alberta Health Services. Phrases like effects of vaping or benefits of a university education aren't great phrase searches as researchers could reference these ideas using different combinations of words or ordering the words differently. Phrase searching and truncation are relatively simple and effective techniques that you can use to find what you need more efficiently. Keep in mind though, that you typically can't use truncation within a phrase search.